Hey guys, it's Genoheat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, well, we're obviously doing something quite different again, as you can tell with me being here in person again. So, today's video is going to be a fun video. In fact, it's one that I've wanted to do for a while now. So, without further ado, I'm going to be showing you guys what I believe to be the top 10 rarest and most obscure Halo games and media. Now, before I start the list and countdown, I just want to clarify that for this video, my criteria of rare and obscure uh, Halo games is going to be kind of from a US perspective, because there are some versions of Halo out there that may be totally impossible to get in one region like the US, but may be very common in another region. So obviously, to the people in that region where it's common, the game won't be very rare at, or obscure at all, but to many others around the world, it will be. So some of the cr other criteria I'm going by is also how difficult it is to find on sites like eBay and Amazon. I'm not necessarily going by price because some things can be quite rare and obscure, but not necessarily expensive either. That's not to say some of the rarest things on this list aren't valuable in price, but it's not a main criteria I was going by. Also, before we start, I guess there was one uh, ulterior agenda to this video uh, that I'm pushing, which is that I'm also kind of flexing and showing off my personal Halo collection. <laughs> um, but anyways, <laughs> let's get into it. So we'll be ranking this starting from number 10, the least rare and obscure on this list, to number one, the most rare and obscure. So let's get right into it. So starting with number 10. Number 10 is Halo 2600, and this is a Halo game, pretty much an official Halo game made by Ed Fries, a former uh, employee at Xbox, who, who made Halo for the Atari 2600. And this game, it's not necessarily uh, very rare now, but it is uh, very obscure, and I know a lot of people who weren't aware that Halo has come to the uh, Atari 2600 in an official capacity that uh, is pretty much, you know, ha well, it had to be approved by Microsoft in some way. You can't just make your own Halo game and then sell it without their permission. Um, but yeah, that's Halo for the Atari 2600, and it does come in boxed and unboxed versions on the website Atari Age. Alright, for number 9, this next one is Halo 4 King of the Hill. Now this does not have a physical copy because it was only an app or game for um, Android and iOS. And basically it was it's discontinued now and it's been delisted and you can't it's really hard to find it anywhere but at the time it was a sort of pokemon go game but for halo and yeah basically halo did pokemon go before pokemon did you would you know take the app you would go to 7-elevens you would claim that 7-eleven or that hill and then you, you would uh, the longer you hold it the more points you get which you can use for like double xp and stuff in halo 4 or to unlock certain armors and you can also scan uh, barcodes from like doritos and mountain dew to get more um points and stuff like that and then people could battle you for control of that hill just like pokemon go so it's a shame it never really took off because halo could have had a pokemon go but they you know, it kind of like you know went away after the promotional period ended and now, you know, it's, it is an official Halo game slash app. It's been discontinued and it's now very hard to find. And even if you do find it, it only works on like older Android versions, like Android 4.0 or something like that. I think that's like the one that worked for me. But yeah, so that's um, number nine, Halo 4 King of the Hill. Now, the next one for number eight. This one is the Halo Triple Pack. This was released through the original Xbox a long time ago, before the 360 came out, obviously. And like its name implies, it contains three Halo games in it. Halo 1, Halo 2, and the Halo 2 multiplayer map pack. And well, what makes this um, more obscure or rare is that it's just simply it's a boxed version. It's uh, It contains the standard versions of each of those games. So the individual games themselves are not what's rare, but it's just a boxed edition. 
And technically, this was also um, basically uh, the original Master Chief collection for the original Xbox, uh, almost like a decade before MCC actually came out. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, like I said, technically it is, um, this is the very first MCC in a way. But yeah, that's uh, for number eight. Now, for the next one, for number seven, we have the Mac edition of Halo PC. This version is, well, obviously it's the PC version, but it was released for the Apple Macintosh computers. And it worked with uh, Intel and PowerPC Macs at the time. But because Macs weren't as popular for gaming back then, and I guess still now, uh, there weren't as many copies made compared to the regular PC version. So Mac copies of Halo 1 are a lot more rare than the, uh, the regular PC version. And even if you do have a copy, there's really no guarantee it'll work well on modern Macs, especially if you have one of those new M1 MacBooks. But um, even if you have like a newer Intel Mac, it's uh, just no guarantee it'll work well anymore. So these are quite rare and there's not too many left on eBay now and the value is going up a little bit as well. All right, so for the next one, for number six, we have the Halo CE demo here. Now, technically this disc itself isn't just a demo, and I think there are other versions of this disc that also have the demo on it, but this one came with the, um, I believe this came with the original Xbox magazine, and inside contains this disc that's full of uh, trailers, uh, extra content, uh, certain features and previews, and game demos. This particular disc has uh, Crash Bandicoot, Hunter the Reckoning, Max Payne, Spider-Man, Star Wars Jedi Starfighter, Time Flitters 2, and most importantly, the Halo Xbox demo. The original Halo 1 Xbox demo is actually quite rare compared to the PC demo. The PC demo is free and anyone could download it and play it. But the Xbox demo was only ever released on certain demo discs, like this one. And these demo discs themselves aren't exactly, you know, like very common anymore. They are uh, kind of rare now in them of themselves. And the Xbox demo of Halo 1 was also unique in that, well first of all, it didn't have any multiplayer like the PC demo did. And it also featured the original version of that Sergeant Johnson ad at the end of the, uh, the Halo demo where he advertises the game. But the Xbox version featured the original version of that showing the Xbox advertisement, which was uh, not very well known, actually. Most people remember the PC advertisement that Sergeant Johnson did, but not the Xbox version. And there's not too many videos of the Xbox version demo um, uh, advertisement out there either. So that's why this one is at number six, in my opinion, for this list. Now, for number five will be this Halo 1 Marketing Gold disc. This is just the PC version of Halo 1. It's actually the full PC version. It's not a pre-release or beta version, but it is a marketing gold version. When a game goes gold, it means it's pretty much complete and ready to ship. And that's still the case today, although technically it's not really true anymore, because even when games go gold, there's still like usually big day one updates or, or even worse, the games are still pretty broken after they're released, after going gold. But back then, when games went gold, they were uh, complete. And this marketing gold, I suspect, was released to people working in marketing, obviously, to, uh, to make promotional content for Halo 1. So that's what this was. And these are pretty hard to find. I was only ever able to find one out there. Uh, so that's what this is for number five. Now, for this next one, this one is actually uh, pretty rare now, and, and you'll notice like there's quite a few Halo CE and Halo 1 stuff on the list. And that's because, you know, Halo 1 is the oldest Halo game, and therefore a lot of the stuff are obviously out of print and becoming harder to find. But this version of Halo 1 for the original Xbox, Halo Combat Evolved, is, you can tell it has a different cover, a very unique cover. And this is so unique that only one region actually has this, and this is exclusive to Japan. This is the Japanese version of Halo Combat Evolved, the original Xbox. And there is a Platinum Hits version of this cover as well, which looks like most Platinum Hits games, but has, you know, the same cover. But 
I, I personally don't really like the Platinum Hits covers for original Xbox games. I, I prefer the non-Platinum Hits versions when it comes to collecting stuff. But the Japanese version did have a unique uh, cover that no other version had. And on the inside, it does have the same manual, just translated to Japanese. But it also has a training guide, which basically has all the maps in it. And it tells you like the weapon spawns and stuff like that. So that's what's also unique to the Japanese version, uh, aside from the artwork. So that is number four. Now, for number five, this used to not be very, very rare, but over the past few years, it's become very, very rare. And that is the Steelbook edition of Halo the Master Chief Collection. The Steelbook edition was, I'm pretty sure it was exclusive to the UK. I don't remember if Australia also got it. I think some people said it did, but I'm not sure. But as far as I know, it was it was uh, it was definitely only available in the UK. And at the time, you know, back then buying this from the UK, it um it wasn't too expensive. But nowadays, like on eBay, this is like impossible to find now. Um, almost impossible. And if you do find it, it's extremely expensive now. But yeah, it's the uh. See, Halo Master Chief Collection never really got any limited collector's editions. This is pretty much the only one, and there's like one other as well. But yeah, the Steelbook came with this, came with a code for the Grunt Funeral Skull. Um, and it also came with this multiplayer map book, which features all the multiplayer maps on MCC from Halo 1 through 4, except for Halo Reach, and that, uh, the one remnant map for Halo 2 Anniversary, which was added later as DLC. And of course, the new Halo Online maps added to Halo 3, Edge and Waterfall. Because, you know, obviously those are all added after this book was made. But it contains the strategy guides for all the maps, all the spawns, all the callouts, and so on. I believe it also came with a Master Chief statue, a Halo 4 Master Chief statue, but I don't have that. But I'm pretty sure it did, and I'll show it to you here for the whole set that came with the Steelbook Edition. So this was the, uh, the main collector's edition that people knew about for Halo MCC and it is now very rare so that is why this is at number three now for number two this is not exactly a Halo game but it is Halo media a very important piece of Halo media and it's it's so rare now so and that is the Halo anniversary soundtracks on vinyl not just Halo 2 anniversary also the Halo 1 anniversary vinyl soundtrack which I was too late to get before it became like super, super rare. And I'm actually kind of salty that I missed out on it because it looks really nice. Uh, but these soundtracks for the Halo 2, for the Halo 1 and Halo 2 anniversary soundtracks, they were put on vinyl in limited editions. And uh, well, the Halo 2 anniversary one is not, not as cool as the Halo 1 anniversary vinyl. That one has like a green vinyl on it, as you can see here. And uh, that was sold out like a while ago. Same with this one now. I mean, this is more not as cool, but it is sold out now. But obviously it's a soundtrack for Halo 1 and 2 Anniversary. And, you know, it, they used to only be like $15, $20 on Amazon for both of them. And, uh, well, for each of them, I mean. And nowadays they're completely gone. They are almost impossible to find anywhere. But on the off chance you do find one somewhere, they're usually being sold for anywhere from like Five to nine hundred dollars, maybe even a thousand dollars, depending on the place you look. I've seen these go for pretty crazy prices. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of like I said, I'm kind of salty. I missed out on the Halo One Anniversary soundtrack. But I am glad I still got the Halo Two Anniversary soundtrack. Um, for, uh, so if you have a record player and you have one of these, you know they're obviously really fun to listen to, but they are extremely rare now, and they go for exorbitant prices on sites like eBay now. So. That's why I put this at number two for rarest. And I guess obscure, because not many people know that Halo soundtracks came on vinyl. Not all of them do, some of them do. And I guess this is also one of the most valuable as well, price-wise. But like I said, that's not one of the main criteria for, um, for this video. All right, so before we get to number one, I do have quite a few runner-ups and honorable mentions that I wanted to put on this list, but I didn't quite know where to like rank them or if they would even fit on the list at all. So I'm just going to quickly run through these runner-ups before we get to number one. So for these runner-ups, we have the 
all the limited Halo Edition consoles and controllers for original Xbox 360 and Xbox One, and hopefully someday the Series X and Series S. We also have the Halo 3 Edition Zune, which um, came with the Halo 3 Edition box for the Zune, and a custom skinned uh, Zune player, <laughs> which came with the Halo 3 soundtrack and some other uh, Halo content and media on preloaded on it. We also have the Ultimate Halo disc, which I do have, I couldn't find it for this video, I'm not sure where it went. but. This is like a pretty uh, interesting Halo collectible back in the day, and people would get it for like additional, you know, Halo artwork, uh, developer interviews, and other like behind the scenes stuff about Halo. It wasn't a game, but it was an uh, interesting collectible. Next, we have the Halo 3 Warthog launch game, which I think used to be like a Flash player game, but it was uh, ported to Xbox 360 and included on the limited edition disc. And it was actually pretty fun to play, and it was a, actually a, it was actually a full game. Didn't have achievements, but it was fully playable on the Xbox 360 with the Halo 3 limited edition disc. Next up, we have the OG Halo PC games. Halo 1 for PC and, and Halo 2 for Windows Vista, which does still work on modern Windows to an extent. But these are a little more obscure because uh, every time I did a video on these um, before MCC came out, a lot of people were, all, I, I always got comments from people saying they were surprised that there were Halo games on PC. And a lot of people were never aware of them uh, for the longest time. So I guess that's what makes them a little more obscure, but they're not really that rare uh, online. You could still find them at pretty uh, reasonable prices. Uh, next up, we have Halo Fireteam Raven. This was an arcade version of Halo at Dave and Buster's uh, that apparently to this day, a lot of people still don't know that uh, there were... Uh, arcade versions of Halo released uh, in uh, arcades around the world, but um, used to be exclusive to Dave and Buster's. Now it's available at a few more places, uh, but not a lot of people have had the chance to play it or even knew it existed, or that it got you an exclusive nameplate on MCC. But that's another one. Next up, we have Halo Recruit. This game is still around. It's still available and it's still free on the Windows Store, but it's a very um, it's a little more obscure version. It's, it's a VR version of Halo, just a VR demo. You, you know, you take a look at a few models in VR and you do a little bit of short shooting range and that's it. It wasn't like widely marketed. It wasn't like pushed uh, to mainstream or anything. It was just a simple, free, small VR demo. And you know, some people tried it, but it's, uh, it's a pretty obscure game out there. Uh, next, we have the Halo Reach demo. Also not really that rare, but it is a little more rare now. So it's the it's a free demo for Halo Reach that still works. It has its own matchmaking and co-op built in and firefight as well. And once uh, since 343 is shutting down the original 360 Halo games later this year in December, the um, all the multiplayers will stop functioning for those all matchmaking multiplayers will stop functioning. But, me and many others believe that the Halo Reach demo will continue to function after all these servers have been shut down. So, in all likelihood, the Halo Reach demo will become the last 360 Halo game that will still have a functioning multiplayer after this year. Uh, but, it's been delisted from the store as well as all the other 360 Halo games, so that's what makes it more rare now. But, it, it is possible for people to still get it uh, through other means. And next up, we have all the foreign copies of Halo. So th this is kind of going to the thing I said at the beginning, where some games are more rare to other regions and less rare to some regions. So all the foreign copies, um, they they will be quite rare, and some more rare than others, even to people in uh, those regions where those copies were originally from. Uh, and then last but not least, we have the all the Halo pre-release builds and betas. Some officially released, and some leaked. Uh, and this includes the Halo Reach preview disc as well, which uh, some people got as part of a testing program a while ago. But um, yeah, so those are all the uh, runner-ups and honorable mentions. Now, for number one, what I believe to be the rarest and most obscure Halo game out there, or, or Halo game slash media out there. And that would be the China version of Halo The Master Chief Collection. But not just this physical version that I have here. 
there's actually more to it that I learned after doing my unboxing video about this version. But just really quick background before this video gets too long. Um, the China version of MCC uh, is a special version of MCC that was created that has censorship features built in to appease, um, to, to make the game suitable for the Chinese market. And this version of MCC was obviously exclusive to China and it does not work on any Xbox One outside of China. So basically it it's pretty much impossible to find outside of China. It's You can look anywhere, eBay, Amazon, or any other private selling site, and you'll pretty much never find a physical version of China MCC. And that's, that's why the physical edition alone is very rare. But this particular physical edition I have here, in China, this is actually somewhat common, it's not hard to find, but it's not, what, it's not this version alone that makes China MCC as a whole uh, the rarest and most obscure version. It's actually the collector's editions of this game that makes it the most rare and obscure. Uh, so, if you remember for number uh, three of this video, Halo MCC did have a steelbook edition with a multiplayer book that was exclusive to the UK, but you could buy it off eBay uh, for a while. But there was actually all the good collector collector's editions of MCC, aside from the UK version, pretty much went to China. They, When MCC launched there in 2015, they got all the cool collector's editions. There was a whole steel box edition that not only came with the game, but also came with a MCC controller stand. And this steel box edition was pretty big. And it's, it's like a huge tin box and it's pretty cool. Uh, so that was very rare. And it's according to uh, people in China, it's pretty much impossible to find there nowadays. But even more rare than that version was the limited console edition, which came with the Steelbox edition, but also came with these limited edition MCC themed controller grips and a MCC themed Xbox One. Now, it looks like uh, the MCC thing is like part of the Xbox One, but actually, as it turns out, it's actually just a sticker that you could apply to the front of it. But aside from that, the whole version of that is even more rare than just a steel box version alone and all of these are pretty much impossible to find now even in China even secondhand so that is why China MCC as a whole in both you know globally and in both just China is pretty much the rarest and most obscure version of Halo definitely the most rare Halo game out there and obscure because um, to this day, despite making several videos, a lot of people were still unaware that um, China had an exclusive version of MCC just for them with uh, its own unique features as well. But yeah, so there you guys have it. Those are what I believe to be the top 10 rarest and most obscure versions of Halo games and media, as well as quite a few runner-ups and honorable mentions that um, I couldn't quite fit in video. Uh, hopefully you guys did find this video to be interesting and if you did enjoy it as always make sure to leave a like uh definitely like to hear your thoughts about this list uh do you agree with it do you disagree do you think some things should have been ranked higher or lower or do you think i'm missing things entirely from the list that should have been added there is there something more rare that uh that's out there that i'm not aware of if so let me know in the comments down below i definitely like to discuss this because i'm a huge halo collector so I'm, I'm definitely very curious like what else i'm missing so feel free to let me know down below. But other than that, make sure to uh, subscribe to, this, to my channel if you haven't already. And stay tuned for my next videos. And aside from that, I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.